Osama bin Laden. He was a terrorist. He was born on March 10, 1957, in Riyadh, Mantaka, Saudi Arabia. His father's name was Mohammed bin Awad bin Laden, and mother's name was Hamida al -Adiz. His father was a businessman in Porters. Bin Laden's parents divorced shortly after his birth, and he was raised in the household of his mother and stepfather. He grew up as a devout Sunni Muslim and went to college at the King Abdulaziz University, where he studied economics and business, as well as the interpretation of the Quran and Jihad. His first marriage was at the age of 17, in 1974. He divorced and remarried several times and fathered between 20 and 26 children with his many wives, many of whom fled to Iran following the September 11 attacks. Bin Laden founded the Maktab al qidamat or Afghan Services Bureau, and used this organization to funnel money into Afghanistan to support the Mujahideen. In 1988, he split from the Maktab al nidamat and used his flourishing popularity and influences to form the far more militant international terrorist group Al-Qaeda. The 1990 Iraqi invasion of Kuwait led by Saddam Hussein threatened internal dissent in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Bin Laden appealed to the Saudi government to avoid bringing any non-Muslim involvement into this struggle, but they ignored his advice and United States forces were deployed in Saudi territory. He continued to be outspoken against the government's actions until two years later, he was banished from his home country. He fled to Sudan and lived in exile. After the failed Egyptian Islamic Jihad assassination attempt of the Egyptian president, the United States accused Sudan of sponsoring international terrorism, which led them to eventually banish bin Laden in 1996, along with his organization. After his return to Afghanistan, bin Laden declared war against the United States, claiming that the evils of the Middle East were due to American interference. He returned to his roots and enlisted the aid of his associates from the Soviet Jihad to help him raise money to sponsor his attacks. Bin Laden was wanted on multiple accounts of mass murder, terrorism, and war crimes in many different nations. In 1998, he was placed on the FBI's 10 most wanted list for his involvement in an embassy bombing that killed hundreds. In 1998, Bin Laden was placed on the FBI's 10 most wanted list for his involvement in the United States Embassy bombings that killed hundreds of people in multiple major East African cities. By the end of that year, American counterterrorist intelligence knew of his plans to hijack aircraft. In an attempt to protect himself from arrest and win even more recruits to Al-Qaeda's deadly cause, bin Laden moved from Sudan to Afghanistan in 1996. On August 7, 1998, bombs exploded simultaneously at the United States embassies in Nairobi, Kenya, where 213 people were killed and 4,500 were injured, and Dar es Salaam, Tanzania where 11 people were killed and 85 were injured. Al-Qaeda took credit for the bombings. Then, on October 12, 2000, a small boat loaded with explosives plowed into the hull of the USS Cole, an American naval destroyer docked off the coast of Yemen. 17 sailors were killed and 38 were injured. Bin Laden took credit for that incident as well. A federal grand jury in the United States indicted Bin Laden on charges related to the embassy bombings, but with no defendant there could be no trial. Meanwhile, Al-Qaeda operatives were busy planning the biggest attack of all, the September 11, 2001 attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. 
Even in the frenzy of the post-September 11 global war on terror, bin Laden eluded capture For almost 10 years, he remained in hiding, issuing fatwas and taunts over radio and television, recruiting enthusiastic young jihadists to his cause and plotting new attacks Meanwhile, the CIA and other intelligence officials searched in vain for his hiding place Finally, in August 2010, they traced bin Laden to a compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, about 35 miles from Islamabad For months, CIA agents watched the house while drones photographed it from the sky Finally, it was time to move on May 2, 2011, a team of Navy SEALs burst into the compound They found the Al-Qaeda leader in an upstairs bedroom with a pistol and an assault rifle nearby and shot him in the head and chest, killing him instantly It is very important to concentrate on hitting the United States economy through all means possible said Osama bin Laden, 